All right, I'm here at home with the clearance man and I have Dan here. He's gonna teach us a little bit about dishwashers, some things that we know, some things that we may not know, and some things that you can pick up in your new dishwasher. So you can dream about this, right? Yes, absolutely. All right, good. So what have you got for me today? Okay, so I just wanted to give you a quick breakdown on dishwashers. Uh, if your dishwasher is maybe in the 20 year range and you're looking to replace it, there's been some changes in the dishwasher game. Um, first thing I want to discuss really quickly is the levels of uh, noise that you can expect in newer dishwashers. Um, they're measured in decibels. Uh, so your ultra quiet start at 36, they go up to 44. Then you get into little noisier ones, they go about 44 to 50, and then 50 and up is considered a, a noisy dishwasher. Having said that, again, 20 year old dishwashers and, and, and later models uh, generally operate in the 55. So no matter what you get these days, should be quieter than the one that you currently have if it's, again, a 2000 or prior model. Um, also, with dishwashers, you get some fancy features, uh, new dishwashers, uh, newer technology, um, but more specifically, the hardware inside, you get what's called a third rack on premium models. Um, this is the third rack. It's located at the very top of the dishwasher. What it allows you to do is place your cutlery in a horizontal manner instead of in the baskets. Uh, some people swear by this. They love it. it gives you better cleaning. Um, so this is on our more premium models. You can always ask when you come in store. I heard about the third rack. Could you show me some models and we'll take care of you. Um, other points of the dishwasher would be um, on the control panels. So now we have control panels on the top. Um, this is a nice aesthetic feature. Um, great if you have little kids running around, they can't go to the front and just press buttons and go wild while you're not there. Also very pretty. Yes, absolutely. And a lot have um, handles on the front uh, when you get your control panel up top. Um, now I want to move towards other styles because some people, you'll have your, your countertops uh, very flush. So uh, a top control panel might not be in the cards for you. Uh, so I'm going to just quickly go over to another model we have here. Uh, the control panels are on the front. So you can get around if your current dishwasher is placed so flush up against your countertop that you can't access it from the top. You can then opt for a front control panel. This again is more conventional. So this will not have the third rack. And again, it's all depending on what you prefer at your house. Some people enjoy not having the third rack because it gives you a little bit more space on your second rack uh, for your glassware. Oh, that's kind of a thing. I have the third rack and yeah, you're right, actually. Great. And good news with the third rack, you could always remove it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Um, and this, again, won't have the handle. Uh, the handle is recessed here. Um, so another seamless uh, part. Some people don't like the handle outside because it gives you, uh, you know, a little more wiggle room in the kitchen. All so right. that's dishwashers. That's dishwashers. Thanks. All right. Talk soon. Take care.